I recently bought a Bamboo Lab X1 carbon printer and after about 100 hours worth of printing I started getting odd error messages up on the screen. After doing a bit of troubleshooting I discovered that the signal cable that goes between the bed and its control board was actually broken and conductor number one was completely open circuit. I contacted Bamboo Lab support and they were kind enough to send me another cable as well as give me a £50 voucher to spend in their online store, which was very nice indeed. But I thought, what about maybe coming up with an alternative, perhaps something that's a bit more flexible than this cable and a lot more easily replaced. And what I came up with was this. And this is a six pin, 40 centimeter, 0.5 millimeter pitch, flat flex cable. Try saying that when you've had a few beers. So this is the same number of conductors as the bamboo cable. As you can see, it's quite a lot less wide. Let me just see if I can bring that up a little bit closer. So it's less wide than the original one, but it's also a whole lot more flexible. If you kind of compare to this, which kind of just sort of holds its shape when you go like that, this thing is very, very flexible. It's perfect for the job, in my opinion. And what I also got was um, a couple of these. And these are kind of flat flex breakout boards, I guess you'd call them. So the flat flex cable goes in this end and then you can wire up the other connectors to, to that end there. And the connectors that we put on are these. These came from eBay. So again, these are the Pico Blade six-way connectors that the printer uses on the print bed and also on its control board. And you can literally just solder one of those onto there and you've kind of got an, what I would call the adapter interface between the cable and the bed and the control board. It's very important when you wire it up um, that you don't wire it up as kind of like a one-to-one -one configuration. So you actually want the colors to be mirrored at either end. If you do do something stupid like that, you might well end up with this error message on your printer. At that point, you might have to reverse engineer the analog front end circuit board, find out what op amp it's using, see if you can source that op amp equivalent from somewhere in the UK, work out which of the two variations it is, and then solder it in. It works fine now. The only other thing I got was um, some of this. And this is kind of like heat sink paste, but it's actually heat sink glue. And that's really, really useful for the board that goes underneath the heat bed, because that gets quite hot, especially when you're printing exotics. It can go up to about, I think it's 110 Celsius. So if you actually use this glue to glue this plate onto the bed, uh, it's high temperature, so it's not going to melt or go soft or anything, and it will hold it in place as, uh, as required. And this is what those components look like when they're all connected together and ready to be installed into the printer. So why don't we pop over to the printer and just see what this looks like when it's actually installed. And this is the finished upgrade. Over here, we have the Molex Pico Blade cable, and that goes into the FPC interface to join it the FPC cable and that then routes underneath the poop chute and follows the bed heater cable up to the bed section itself. And this has been working really well for about three weeks. I haven't had any issues with you know any faults being reported or anything like that. And uh, yeah, it just seems to work. Nice thing is if I need to replace this connector down here, all I literally have to do is unclip it, pull it out and take it out of here. And at the other end, which I can't show you because the bed's on and I can't be bothered to take it off. But yeah, it's a lot easier to replace that cable than it is to replace the original one that was fitted. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please click the like button. And if you're not subscribed, uh, please go ahead and do so. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.